Okay, so today we'll be working on the codality problem uh, min uh, twosome. I believe that's what it's called. Um, so basically what we're given is an array of numbers and we have to find the average of a slice um, whose minimum size is two in the array if we were to take a portion of that array and we need to find the minimum average of a slice and return of the entire array and return uh, the starting point of that or the starting position uh, which to use which is which will give us the minimum average in that array if we're to take a slice of that array okay so let me give an example of what was meant because that's probably not clear. So we have an array A, which has these numbers 4, negative 10, and 6. So there could be negative numbers. But for this example, actually, let's not use this and use the array that's given. So we have this array. Right. And A is basically four, comma, two, comma, two, comma, five, comma, one, comma, five, comma, eight. And any slice of the array is basically A of zero to one is a one slice, which would be well I guess we could use a colon, A of zero to one would be the array one of four comma two. We're not using our original example. A of three, two, five would be five comma one comma five. So as you can see, if we were to take the slice, a slice and find its average, for example, slice of 1 to 2, um, we would get the array 2 comma 2. And if we were to take the average of that, it would be equal to 2 plus 2 divided by 2, since we're only taking a slice that's uh, two digits long. The same with slice uh, 3 to 4. So if we look at the array, 3 to 4 would be 5 to 1. Those would be the elements we'd have, 5 comma 1. For this slice, the average would be 5 plus 1 divided by 2, and that would equal Three. And finally, for our last example, we could take um, 1 to 4, which would give us a bigger slice than before. That would be 2, 2, 5, 1. If we were to take the average of this particular slice, we would have 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 1 divided by 4, and that would equal 2.5. Right? All right, so how are we gonna solve this? So I like to approach these problems without any optimizations initially. So what we'll do is have two pointers, right? For our array, we'll have two pointers. So this is gonna be our diagram. So let's call our pointer, first pointer, A, and our second pointer, B. B will always be greater than A. And what we'll do is, for each iteration, we're going to get the slices. So we will increment B and take the average at each step. So this would be, at this point, for the first step, we would take the average of 
or comma two. Um, so that would be equal to four plus two divided by two, since it's two large. Then we would get an average of three. For this one, we would have four comma two comma two, which is equal to four plus two plus two. divided by three, and that would give us six, eight, divided by three, and that would be two point six. And then we would continue to increment it and take the averages at each point. Right, so we increment, take the average, increment, take the average, increment, take the average, increment, take the average, and then when we got to the end, we'd increment the first pointer a, and then we repeat, we bring b all the way back, and then we would increment, take the average, increment, take the average, increment, take the average, increment, take the average, and then again, do the same thing by incrementing a, and resetting b. And that's going to be our approach initially before we apply optimizations. Okay, so this is the steps. Have two pointers, A and B. And B min is always A plus 1, right? Um, increment B and get slice calculate um, average with the following equation B minus A plus 1 because we're getting the actual um, size of the slice and sum of um, a to b divided by uh, b minus 1 plus a when b equals a dot length minus 1 and a is the array size um, a is equal to a plus 1 and b is equal to a plus 2 which is basically, um, or a plus one, a new plus one. So that's the a after it's been incremented. Repeat. And also there's another condition. We're going to store the averages, right? So if um, average is less than min, average, we will set min a average is equal to average, and store a starting position. So that's basically what we're going to do, right? So let's code that out. So we need our variables, so let us have a min average, and we could um, set that to the maximum number that we could have, max value. What's the other um, variable we should store? Min uh, start average uh, position. We can set that to zero. Then we could have a running sum to calculate the um, the sum um, of the slice because we're going. This is going to be our sort of our prefix sum. And we'll have it set to zero. And this will allow us to keep a running total of the slices as we get bigger and bigger. And um, yeah, so now let's start create our first loop for let this will be our loop. A is equal to 
0. And while a is less than a dot length, a plus plus. All right. Um, next, for uh, let b is equal to a plus 1, because b is all, that's always going to be uh, 1 greater than a, right? Uh, when it resets. Um, and b is less than a dot length b plus plus. So this is our nested loop, right? And we're going to have our prefix sum, which will always be set to um, 0 whenever it is outside. Would it be 0? No, it would actually be um, a of a, right? Because this is going to be um, the number that a is pointing to, or the beginning. This is our basically our the beginning of our uh, um, the start point of our slice, and then within the subarray, we'll have our prefix sum plus equal to a of b, and then we will have our test condition if min average is greater than average. Oh, we forgot to calculate our average. Cur av is equal to zero. No, actually, let's make a number. Dot max value. And so we'll calculate our average. Cur av is equal to prefix sum divided by b minus a plus one. So if min average is greater than cur average, we'll set min average is equal to cur average. Let's also change the structure so that we have better naming conventions. This is just nitpicky, but I'll do it anyways, in case it's bothering everyone, anyone. And we'll also store the um, starting position, min average positions equal to A, right? And then after our loop, we'll return min average position. So let's see if that gets us what we need. So we've implemented our steps. So it'll iterate through the loop, calculating all the different um, uh, slice averages and store it whenever the average is smaller. Okay, so that is our um, solution for now and it seems to work. Let's submit it. It's not optimized yet, but we're going to do that in a second. So now it's running. It should get low on performance and task score, but 100% of correctness. Unless I miss something. And we should also have timeout issues. I think that this was a tricky problem because there's a certain math trick you got to do in order to limit the time. And it, I couldn't figure it out myself. I had to look it up. But uh, I don't think I would have gotten the optimization during an interview. Um, I'll show it to you uh, in a second. So as you can see, we got correctness as 100%. This I could have gotten, but the performance improvement, I wouldn't have guessed. Um, okay, so um, as you can see, we have timeouts, even though our solution works. Okay, so let's go back to 
to a prefix sum and do it again and this time we're going to implement the optimization okay so this was our old uh, solution so apparently when finding the min average of a slice you only need to take a slice that is either two or three um, numbers long from the array because any larger um, uh, slice will just be able to be broken down into um, those slices that are two or three digits long. Consequently, um, your minimum uh, um, average can only needs to be in order to get the minimum average position um, for a slice only needs to be two or three um, digits long so in order to limit that all we have to do is add in a connect a condition in our nested loop and that will be b minus a plus one is always going to be less than or equal to three and our, that will limit the size of our slice to always being um, an array a dot length um, um, b minus a uh, plus one will always be less than or equal to three. So that's our uh, constraint. And by doing this, we will exponentially speed up our code and still get the correct solution. So, there we go. So it was an easy question with a difficult optimization, unless you knew the trick ahead of time, or were able to reason it out. Okay, so there you go. So we have a performance increase of 100% uh, and correctness of 100%. Um, and the time complexity is O of N. So there we go. Um, so, yeah, so that's it. Um, hope it helped the next time.